so the continuation of the previous lecture here uh, i have given some problems here i need to find out whether these systems are linear or causal or time invariant or stable so these are the some input output relations of the systems so i have already discussed the definitions of the linear causal and time invariant stable and static and dynamic and invertible non invertible systems i have already discussed the definitions of those systems and now i want to solve these problems by using those definitions so before going to solve these 10 problems first i quickly solve some simple problems and come back so these are some simple problems so i want to solve these problems first and then i'll come back to these typical 10 problems okay yeah so first the first problem is y of t equal to t square into x of t first one y of t equal to t square into x of t okay so first i want to check the linearity of the system whether the system is linear or non-linear okay so how to solve this suppose this is the system i have given x of t as the input this is the system i got y of t that is the output is t square into x of t this is the input output relation of the system so what i do so to check the linearity i have to check both homogeneity and superposition so i, I uh, for that i should not check the these two conditions individually that is separately so i will check these two conditions combinedly so what i have to do so let us say i am applying x1 of t to the system okay so i am applying x1 of t to this system let us say i got y1 of t okay that is t square x1 of t okay so from this relation only i have written this so this is the relation okay if x of t is the input then y of t is x of t multiplied by t square similarly here x1 of t is the input then output is the input multiplied by t square okay Similarly, if x2 of t is the input of the same system, it is y2 of t, that is t square multiplied by the input. What is the input here? x2 of t. Okay. Now, what I do? I will give uh, the combined input let us say some a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t okay this is the combined input what is the y3 of t okay from this relation only so this is the relation if i give x of t as the input is the x of t as the input the output is the input multiplied by t square okay the input multiplied by t square right i will write here so the input multiplied by t square t square multiplied with input what is the input here this entire thing a into x1 of t plus a1 into x1 of t plus a2 into x2 of t okay this is y3 of t so 
what I have to check for a linearity. If this y3 of t equal to y1 of t plus y2 of t, then the system is linear. Okay. Otherwise, non-linear. Check it. So, what is y3 of t here? y3 of t equal to t square and here a1 into y1 of t not just a1 y1 of t here a1 into y1 of t and a2 into y2 of t okay so what is y3 of t here t square into a1 into x1 of t plus t square into a2 into x2 of t here so a1 t square into x1 of t plus a2 t square x2 of t. What is this? a1 t square into x1 of t. This one. t square into x1 of t is y1 of t. Plus, what is this? T square into x2 of t. Yeah. T square into x2 of t is y2 of t. I'll substitute this. A2 into y2 of t. Okay. So this is y3 of t. So the system is linear. Therefore, y of t equal to t square into x of t is linear okay next second this one y of t equal to e power x of t second problem y of t equal to e power x of t okay. so if x of t is given to a system if i represent this uh, a s on an arrow it is a system okay if i have given x of t as the input to the system then output is y of t that is e power x of t okay let us say x1 of t is the input. Then for this same system, y1t equal to e power x1t. And x2t is the input to the system. Then what is the output? y2t is e power x2t. Now I will give the combined input. To check the linearity a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 t this is the combined input what is the output y3 t e power the input a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t okay this one this is the relation this is the relation if i give input what is the output e power input e power the input so i gave the input this one this is the input what should be the output e power the input this is the e power the input okay. so can i write this as y3 of t as if y3 t equal to a1 y1 t plus a2 y2 t then linear so i need to check out this so i got y3 t equal to e power a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t this can be written as e power a1 x1 t into e power a2 
extrude but this can be written as e power x1 t whole power e e power x2 t whole power e a2 this is a1 this is e power x1 t is here e power x1 t this one is y1 and e power x2 t is y2 substitute those in this equation this is y1 t whole power a this is y2 t whole power a2 this is y3 t this is not equal to a1 y1 t plus a2 y2 t so the system is nonlinear the system y of t equal to e power x of t is nonlinear okay next next problem y of t equal to log x of t third one y t equal to log of x t third problem y t equal to log x t I'm giving x t as the input to the system then I'm getting y t is log of the input this is the input output relation of the this system so now what I do to check the linearity I will give x1 t to the system as the input then I get y1 t that is log of the input that is x1 t next i will give x2 t that is y2 t log x2 t okay now i will give to check the condition homogeneity and uh, superposition i will give input a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t this is the combined input so this same system y3 t what is the y3 t output log of the input a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t okay this is y3 t what is y1 t this is y1 t can we return this y3 t as a1 y1 t plus a2 y2 t we cannot write because what is a1 y1 t a1 y1 t is log x1 t plus a2 log x2 t don't write this signal this expression this is the expression we can't write this expression as this one because log of a plus b is not equal to log of a plus log of b okay that is not correct you can't read so this is nonlinear system okay the next problem sine of x fourth one y t equal to sin x t same i'm giving x t as the input output is y t that is sin x t x1 t y1 t is sin x1 t x2 t y2 t that is sin x2 t a1 y1 t plus a2 x2 t y3 t is sin of the input input is a1 x1 t 
plus a to x to t. Can I write this as a1 sin x1 t plus a2 sin x2 t? Can I write this like this? From this to this. Sin of a plus b is equal to sin a plus sin b? It is not. Okay. This is not correct. So y3 t is not equal to a1 y1 t plus a2 y2 t. Okay. Now Therefore, the system y t equal to sine of x t is nonlinear. So, if you observe all these problems, I can derive a shortcut. Okay. So, here in the first problem, y t equal to t square x t. Here on x t, there is no operation on x t here. Okay. There is no operation on x t. That is why we are getting linear. The first one is linear. But in this, in the second one, y t equal to e power x t. e power exponential. This is the exponential. Exponential. here y t equal to e power x t this exponential operator is nonlinear operator okay so we are doing operations on x t e power x okay so this is operation on x operation on input so that is why we are getting nonlinear e power x t here also y t equal to log x t log also nonlinear operator so we are doing operation on xt here log xt it is a nonlinear fourth one also sin xt sin also nonlinear operator and we are doing some operation on xt sin of xt okay so it is a nonlinear operator i can give some more examples here itself let us say suppose yt equal to x square of t is also nonlinear because we are doing operation on x okay x square we are squaring it nonlinear so y t equal to let us say root x of t this is also nonlinear because we are doing some operation on x t we are square rooting this at input okay so it is also nonlinear you can write uh, you can write so many nonlinear systems y of t equal to tan of x of t cot of x etc all these things are nonlinear systems so for linear systems i can give some examples these are all nonlinear systems linear systems there should not be operation on x t input so you can write suppose log t into x t okay this log t is not operation on x t. It is not log of x t. Okay, it is just multiplying with x t. On x t there is no operation. It is not x square. It is not e power x. It is not sine sine of x. Okay, so it is linear. Okay, this one is linear. Let us say y t equal to suppose sine two t into x t is also linear okay this sin 2 t is multiplying with x of t it is not operating on x of t it is not sin of x of t or sin inverse of x of t it is not operating on x of t x of t is individual there should not be any operation on x t similarly y t equal to some k times x t there is no operation on x of t okay 
so if there is no operation on xt then the system is linear this is the shortcut we will write here not if there is no operation on xt that is input then the system is linear you can easily identify the system by just looking at it okay so from this okay from 5 6 7 8 9 okay so here x of 2t plus 3 xt is x of 2t plus 3 fifth one this is fifth one x of 2t plus 3 so here no operation on x okay so these are 2t plus 3 these this argument is t 2t plus 3 operation on t this one we are not squaring x square we are not square rooting we are not cube rooting we are not doing any log or we are not doing any mod okay so we are not doing any operation on x so it is linear sixth one also x of minus t plus 1 we are doing operation on t not on x similarly 7 8 and 9 also x of sine t okay we are not squaring it we are not cube rooting it we are not uh, square rooting it or we are not sine of x of t we are not doing any sine operations on x we are not doing any log operation on x okay we are not doing any nonlinear operations on x this is just x only that is why it is a linear that is the key point here linearity okay now i will discuss time variant and time invariant systems okay here I'll take an example of first one only y of t equal to t square x of t and then you'll come back to fifth six seventh and eight for time variant time invariant system first example y of t equal to t square x t okay so how to check whether the system is time invariant or time variant suppose this is the input xt to the system i got yt and it is t square xt okay now i will apply a delay in the input x of some t minus t naught then what is the output let us say y1 t what is the output from this relation only we have to write y t is t square multiplied with the input right so here also t square multiplied with the input what is the input here here input is x t here input is x t minus t naught write it x t minus t naught okay this is the output if i apply input in the delay uh, in uh, if i apply delay in the input then y1 t equal to input multiplied by t square this is the relation the relation is given like this if i apply xt input then the yt output is t square multiplied by the input i am applying an input as xt minus t naught then i am getting output as t square multiplied with the input this is the input here okay now i will apply delay in the output okay what is the output here y of t here 
this is the output so what is the output a t square into x of t now i will apply delay in the output y t minus t naught that is t minus t naught whole square x t minus t naught wherever t is there replace the t by t minus t naught this is the delay in the output okay this is delay t naught in output whether i am getting same this y1 of t and y of t minus t naught that is i am applying a delay in the input i am getting some output whether this output is same as the output when we apply delay in the output okay so this is y1 of t is y1 of t equal to y of t minus t naught this is the question but from here they are not getting equal so this is y1 t this is y of t minus t naught here this is not equal that is why therefore this is a time variant okay y t equal to t square x of t is time variant system so why why we are getting time variant because here the operations on t okay the t square is there operations on t if the operations on t is there then the system becomes time variant so you can easily identify just check whether the system has uh, operations on t okay so check this so first y t equal to t square x of t okay there are no there is there is operation on t that is why we are getting time variant but in second y t equal to e power x t there are no time operation so it is a time invariant system and third one log x t there are no time operations it's also time invariant so y t equal to sin x t it is also time invariant but fifth one you can see y t is x 2 t plus 3 i'll solve this y t equal to x 2 t plus 3 Now, fifth problem. Yeah. Now, if xt is the input to the system, I got yt as the output. That yt is x 2t plus 3. Now, what I do? I will apply a delay in the input xt minus t naught. To the system okay let us say y1t how to write this so we are applying t naught delay in the input so x 2t plus 3 x 2t plus 3 minus this t naught okay Whatever the argument there, 2t plus 3, that you have to put as it is and minus t naught. Okay. Now, what I do? I will apply delay in the output also. So, output is y of t, that is x of 2t plus 3. I will apply delay in the output y t minus t naught. x wherever t is there replace the t by t minus t naught this is the delay in the output here we are getting 2t minus 2t naught plus 3 but these two these two y t minus t naught and y1 t these two are not same if we apply delay in the input we are not getting same amount of delay in the output okay so 
this is time variant system okay so why we are getting time variant here the operation on t is there two t okay so here time scaling is there that is why we are getting time variant yes okay yt x 2 t plus c. this is time variant and next sixth one also yt equal to x of minus t plus 4 here negation is there that is time reversal is there minus minus that is why it is a time variant and here yt equal to x t minus 7 there are no operation on t so it is a time invariant system this also x t plus 7 there are no operation on t so it is a time invariant system here yt equal to x of sin t okay there are no operations on t there there is no um, time scaling okay there is no time reversal so that is why this t mm -hmm. this is time invariant okay if at all there are any time operations on t then the system becomes time variant okay that i will write here this is not if there is any operation like scaling reversal then system becomes then the system is time variant okay otherwise time invariant okay. and the next next one causal and non causal for causal and non causal and check this yeah this one five six seven eight nine but non causal non causal also first i will check it y t equal to x minus t plus four I'll check this Sixth one, either causal or non causal. Causal, non causal. Yt equal to x minus t plus 4. So, what is causal? So, the output should not depend on feature inputs. That is the condition we have to check. So for a causal system the output only depend on present input or past outputs or past inputs so it should not depend on future inputs we have to check that condition okay here let us say y of 0 okay x of 4 right put t equal to 0 here get 4 so this is the output output at time equal to 0 depending on input at time equal to 4 this so this 4 is future input for 0 right output at time equal to 0 is depending on input at time equal to 4 that is future input right output depending on future input that is why it is non causal Okay. Next, the fifth one also y t equal to x 2 t plus 3. Same substitute x y 0 or y 1, you substitute y 1, y 1 equal to x 2 plus 3, that is x y. This also output at time instant t equal to 1 is depending on input at time instant t equal to 5 
so t equal to 5 is a feature input for t equal to 1 so this is feature input therefore it is non causal okay next seventh one y t equal to x t minus 7 this one substitute y 0 you will get y minus 7 but here minus sorry x minus 7 okay so here minus 7 is the past input right 0 is the future input future output for at a time instant t equal to minus 7 okay so 0 is uh, G 7 is past input okay or you substitute y of some positive value y of 7 y of let us say some y of 2 so x of minus 5 this also x of minus 5 also past input okay or you substitute y of minus 2 some negative values x of minus 9 which is greater value minus 2 or minus 9 okay minus 2 is greater value so minus 9 is first input okay you can check for any inputs for positive inputs and for negative inputs and for zero input you can check these, these three conditions you will get so in all conditions we are getting the output is depending on only past inputs so it is causal okay next here faith one y t equal to x t plus seven so if at all you will find any plus in the argument it is non causal okay just simply substitute 0 here y0 zero here y0 zero equal to x7 x7 is the feature input for y0 okay. 9 y t equal to x of sin t we'll discuss this y t equal to x of sin t let us substitute y of 0 here. You will get what? In place of t, substitute 0. Sin 0 is 0. Yeah, present input. So present output depends on present input. This, this is okay. I will substitute y of pi. That is, pi is 3.14. What is x of sin pi? Sin pi is 0. So that is x of 0 y is 3.14 and this is 0 this is also previous input past input so this is also past input uh, now i will substitute minus pi that is minus 3.114 x of sin minus pi you will get sin minus pi also 0 now and check so minus phi is minus 3.14 but 0 is feature input for minus pi so the system is non causal okay so you have to give one counter example so that the system is non causal if if you are not able to give some counter example for uh, the system to prove this system as a non causal, then it is a causal. Okay, so this is how we have to solve the problems. We have to check the present output is depending on feature inputs or not. That is the condition we have to check. That's it. Okay, so this is how we have to solve the problems. And for stability, and here, and fourth, here, the fourth one. Check here 
fourth one y of t equal to sin of x t right so it is causal okay x t so y zero is sin of x zero it is not sin zero sin of x of zero okay. y one sin of x of one y two sin of x of two so that is present output is depending on present input not even depending on previous inputs it is depending on present input only it is causal system okay and now we have to check the stability conditions here so the stability conditions are bounded input bounded output stable conditions how to check okay so to check the stability criterion first we have to give some finite value to the input then whether we are getting the finite value of output or not so that is the condition we have to check if you are getting a, a, a finite in output then it is a stable system if you are not getting a finite input finite output for a finite input then the system is unstable i will give some examples here here itself okay first i will check second and third all remaining are easy second third and one next the stability stable and a stable system so first yt equal to e power xt for x t equal to some finite value let us say m okay m is a finite value then y t equal to e power m e power some finite value is always finite value okay so system is stable that's it and third one y t equal to log x t for x t equal to some finite value m log of finite value y t equal to log of some finite value is finite the system is stable now the condition first one y t equal to t square x t for x t equal to m that is finite what is y t y t equal to t square into m is it finite it is not finite because it is uh, it depending on the t value right depending on t if t is infinity what happens it becomes infinite if t tends to infinity then yt becomes infinity even though we are giving x of t as a finite value m a finite value if t tends to infinity then yt becomes infinity so the system is unstable okay now to all these problems this one now y t equal to sin x t fourth problem y t equal to sin x t if x t is finite sin of x t anyway sin value lies between minus 1 to plus 1 always minimum value is minus 1 maximum value is plus 1 for sin sin theta so it is always finite so it is always stable system and here y t equal to fifth one y t equal to x 2t plus 3 so if x is finite x 2t plus 3 also finite okay so y t also finite so it is a stable similarly all these things are stable only okay for static and dynamic systems i will discuss in the next lecture for static and dynamic and uh, one more 
classification is there and that is invertible and non-invertible these two classifications i will discuss in the next lecture okay now i am moving to the uh, typical problems these 10 problems okay so first i quickly solve these problems just by seeing the problem okay so first one to check the linearity condition y of t equal to real part of x of t so the real part of x of t which means we are operating on x of t okay real part of x of t so there is operation on x of t there is operation on x of t so that is why this is non-linear system same y t equal to mod x of t we are doing mod on x of t this is also non-linear system anyway i will discuss these problems in detail but just i'm quickly going through these problems okay so just by seeing the problem how to identify okay so i will solve all this problem uh, in detail okay next third problem y t equal to t into mod x t again here mod is there we are doing mod on x t so it is a non-linear system and here y t equal to fourth one y t equal to minus infinity to t x of t d tau all integrations and all differential equations are linear okay linear operators i'll discuss this no problem so if at all you find uh, anywhere integral and differential equations then these integration and differential operators are linear operators and on x there is no operation right here only x of tau d tau is there there is no operation on x x square x cube square root sine of x all these things are not there only x is there so it is linear and the operator is integration so integration is a linear operator and fifth one also minus infinity to t x of tau d tau there is no operation on x of tau but we are doing integration integration is a linear operator similar to sixth one also integration is a linear operator okay and seventh one these are some discrete time signals we are doing y of n equal to n into again mod xn right so this is more n into mod xn we are doing modern x of n we are doing operations on xn so it is a nonlinear system. Now eighth one, y n equal to x n for n greater than or equal to n one, and zero at n equal to zero, and x n plus one n less than or equal to n minus one, n less than or equal to minus one. So we are not doing any operations on x n. Okay, we are not mod. We are not doing mod, and we are not doing any real part of x of n. Now we are not doing any e power x of n. We are not doing any nonlinear operations on x in here so it is linear eighth one is linear anyway i will solve these problems in detail but my intention here is by just seeing the problem you have to tell okay so you can easily identify by just seeing the problem so and ninth one y n equal to k equal to minus infinity to n x k okay here also there are no operations on x it is a linear operator from 10th one also sign into x n so there are no operations on x not x square not x cube not okay so it is linear okay so you can easily check the linearity condition there is no need of doing the things okay like x1 t x2 t a1 x1 t plus a1 x2 t okay mm -hmm. no need to check these homogeneity and the superposition conditions you can just by seeing the uh, question itself you can easily identify and linearity uh, check we have checked the linearity condition and now the time variant or time invariant that also can check by just seeing the uh, 
um, the relation first one yt equal to okay first one yt equal to real part of x of t there are no operations on t there is no scaling there is no time reversal okay so that is just t is there x of t okay there are no time operations it is a time invariant system and this also mod xt there are no time operations on t so it is time invariant but the third one t into xt we are multiplying with t so there are operations on t so it is time variant third one time variant system fourth one integral minus infinity to t x of tau d tau but the tau is a dummy variable okay tau is a dummy variable you can put in place of tau whatever you want x of m into dm whatever so integral minus infinity to t x of tau d tau here the t is there here the t there are no operations on t okay so it is a time invariant but here minus infinity to 2t 2t is there so it is time variant there are operations on t time variant and here sixth one minus 2 to 4 okay there are no operations on t there is no t term here okay this is tau okay this is not t after integration you won't get t at the output okay because we are sub after integration we can substitute this upper limit and lower limit can't get the output in terms of t okay so this is time invariant system similarly this one seventh one so n into xn n is there okay so it is time variant here yn equal to xn and xn plus 1 so xn there are no time operations this xn is there xn n n n is there there is no 2n n by 2 or minus n even there should not be time operations like scaling and reversal operation time reversal okay so it is a time invariant system here also y n equal to k equal to minus infinity to n it is not 2 n it is not n by 3 it is not minus n okay it is just n so apply delay in the input you will get same delay in the output for this system so it is a time invariant system the tenth one also the tenth one is not a time invariant system it is a time variant system because sine 5 pi by 6 into n okay so there is an operation on n so it is time variant system anyway i will discuss in detail all these problems okay. and yeah. i'll discuss these two types only time invariant and linearity conditions and the remaining uh, the causal stable and uh, static and dynamic and uh, um, invertible and non-invertible cases i will discuss in the next lecture okay now i am going to discuss the first problem these typical problems 10 problems the first one yt equal to real part of xt okay just proceed with the steps i have given if i give xt as the input to the system then i am getting yt as a real part of xt this is the output i am getting now i am giving x1t as the input then y1t is real part of the input x1t from the above relation now i am giving x2t as the input 
then y two t is real part of x two t. Is real part of the input. Now I am applying the combined input a one x one t plus a two x two t as the input. Remember here a one and a two are complex also. They need not to be real. They should. They may be complex also. That is the key point here. Uh, then I am getting y3 of t as a real part of the input. Okay, that is the relation they are given. If I give x of t as the input, then I will get y of t as a real part of the input. So real part of the input is input here is a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t. But this a1 a2 are complex numbers. Okay. So, can I get this as y one t plus y two t? So this y three t equal to y one t plus y two t. Is it possible to get this? What is y one t? Real part of that is a one y one t plus a two y two t. A one into real part of x one t. Plus a2 into real part of x2. Is it possible to get this? Okay. So this is the question. Is it possible? The answer is not possible. Why? Because if let us say a1 equal to some alpha plus j beta. This is a complex number. Yeah, some alpha one plus j beta one. A2 equal to some a alpha two plus j beta two. Okay. Now substitute these things in the equation. So y three t equal to real part of this this equation. Real part of a one is alpha one plus j beta one x one t plus a two is alpha two plus j beta two x two t is So what is the real part here? So the real part of alpha one x one t plus alpha two x two t plus j beta one x one t plus beta two x two t. Okay. So what is the real part here? This is the real part. This is the imaginary part. So real part of this one is x one alpha one. This alpha one is here. Yeah. Write this alpha one into real part of x one t plus alpha two into real part of x two of t. Okay. Anyway, this term is imaginary part J into imaginary part. So we are getting real part of this whole signal. So this is the real part. But in that, the x1 t, x2 t may be a complex signal. So that is why I have put a real uh, uh, as as it is. But this alpha one, alpha two are real numbers here. Okay. Because a is a complex number, a one is a complex number. Alpha one plus j beta one. Alpha one is real number, beta one is real number. So real number plus j into real number is a complex number. Okay, that is why I have brought this alpha one to the outside. Okay, so because alpha one is a real number, alpha one into real part of x one t plus alpha two into real part of x two t. But it is not. It is not a one into real part of x one t. Plus a two into real part of x two t. It is not okay because alpha one is not equal to a one. Alpha two not equal to a two. What is a one? A one is alpha one plus j beta one. Okay, so this is non-linear. This is not equal to this y three of t not equal to a one y one t plus a two y two t. 
So therefore, it is non-linear system. Real part of X of T is non-linear system. Okay. But you can easily check the uh, uh, condition for time variance, time invariant condition. Okay. Just apply in, um, delay in the input x of t minus t naught. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I will solve this. For time time invariant condition, y, y t equal to real part of x t. Xt is the input to the system, then I got yft as real part of xt. Now I am applying a delay in the input xt minus t naught. Let us say y1t that is real part of whatever xt is there t minus t naught. We are applying delay in the input. Okay. Whatever the input is there, that we have to write here. Okay, because that is the relation here. Xt is there, the real part of xt is there. Here xt minus t naught is there, same input should be there here. Xt minus t naught. This is the relation they 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 have given. Okay. So a is it y of t minus t naught? This y1 of t is y of t minus t naught. I am applying now the delay in the output. That is real part of wherever t is there replace t by t minus t naught x of t minus t naught okay so is y1 t and y t minus t naught are same y1 t equal to y t minus t naught this is the question yes they are same so that is why it is a time invariant system okay Invariant system. Uh, the remaining types I will discuss in the next lecture. Okay. Now the second question is the first question is real part of X of T, and the third question, uh, sorry, second question, y t equal to mod X T. I will discuss this. Second question y t equal to mod x t important this one also. So I'm checking first the linearity condition. Let us say x t is the input, y t is the output, and x1 t is the input, y1 t is this is output, y1 t is x1t mod similarly x2t is the input from the relation the y2 y output should be mod of input okay now i will apply the combined input let us say a1 x1t plus a2 x2t is the input so this is the system that is a y3t in the mod, we have to put entire input a1 x1t plus a2 x2t. That is the relation they have given. So, what is y? Uh, is it so a1 x1t plus a2 x2t? is the mod y3t is it equal to a1 mod x1t plus a2 mod x2t is it equal okay it is not equal it's not equal this is y3t is not equal to a1 y1t plus a2 y2t because i'll give some example here 
So let us take some x1 t. I will take some numbers. Okay. So let us let x1 t equal to minus 2. I'm just taking constant signals. Okay. To get easy. Uh, I'm taking I'm just taking this x1 t x2 t as some constant numbers so that uh, the analysis becomes easy. Let's say x1 x2 t equal to 3. Okay. Now what is this substitute these things in the above equation so a1 minus 2 plus a2 3. Let us say a1 equal to a2 equal to 1. Okay, let's put some other constant on a1, let's say a2 equal to 1. So now x1 t equal to minus 2 plus x2 t equal to 3. Is it equal to a1 is 1 mod x1 t? x1 t is minus 2, a2 is 1, x2 t is plus 3. What is this? This one is 1. This one is 5. Mod minus 2 is 2 only. 3 plus 2, 5. Is it equal? It is not equal. Okay. So, always x1 of t plus x2 of t mod is less than or equal to mod x1 t plus mod x2 t. It's always less than or equal to not always equal okay when it is equal when both x1 equal to x2 t then it is equal okay so this is called squares inequality this squares inequality when i discuss continuous temporary transform there the condition for absolutely integrable uh, the condition uh, uh, okay when i discuss continuous strength transform there i will discuss again this the squares inequality in fact there i will prove this uh, squares inequality okay. this is the linearity condition for mod x50 and you can easily check for uh, for what the time invariant and time variant condition so there are no time operations here I have to equal to mod xt then apply delay in the input you will get the delay at the, uh, the same delay at the output okay i think that i don't need to solve again okay that i am not going to solve here okay. anyway i will discuss uh, uh, remaining problems of course there are so many problems uh, remaining eight problems are there and that too there is a different types of systems also there I, I need to check the conditions for the different types of systems also systems for these two i have only checked the conditions for linearity and time invariant for these two systems only for these two problems only are discussed so I will discuss all these things in the next lecture. So for causality, stability, static and dynamic, invertible, non-invertible, all these things I will discuss in the next lecture. So I am going to stop now.